Welcome to The Nail, I'm Ashley. I'm Brian. It's a new month, it's July, and that means another round of free games. Well, you know, free games with an asterisk, we know, they're free if you're a member of PlayStation Plus, Xbox Live Gold, or Amazon Prime, but you probably are, right? At least one of those? Yeah, if you're paying for those services already, getting handed dozens of games every month, that, that's a pretty good deal, right? All right, okay. and if you're a, actually an Amazon Prime member this month, Twitch Prime is making it oh. rain free games. Uh, to celebrate Amazon Prime Day, which is this month, they are giving away a ton of new games from July 2nd through July 17th. Yeah, but we'll get to that. It's a lot, so we need to we need to work up to it. It'll make well, sense. Whew, gotta build. Yeah. All right, ready? Here is the complete lineup of free stuff for July. All right, let's start off with Games with Gold. Now, keep in mind that Microsoft, they do things a little differently in terms of their release windows, so some games might be available on July 1st, and for others, you might have to wait until the middle of the month. We'll break those out for you here, but it's something that you'll want to pay attention to. Yeah, for sure. So first up, we've got a twin stick shoot 'em up called Assault Android Cactus. You play as one of nine androids and your job is to fight through hordes of bad guys to get control of a spaceship. Each android has their own different combination of weapons and there are various modes, including a campaign, multiplayer, and a boss rush mode. It's available July 1st, so right now, to the 31st on Xbox One. That's a full month game. Yeah, now next up there's the Puzzler Death Squared. That's a co-op game for one to four people. The idea is that you control a cube, so do your friends, and you're each trying to get your cube into their corresponding colored spot on the board. It sounds easy, right? Well, well it sounds straightforward. Yeah. yeah, but things get complicated very, very quickly. There are a variety of diabolical and inventive traps. There are over 80 unique puzzles in all. And again, some of these are insanely difficult to figure out. You can play with your friends, you can Hopefully lose friendships. Hopefully they stay your friends. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you will have to wait for a few weeks for this one. It's available July 16th through August 15th on Xbox One. And next on deck, we've got an entry from a classic fighting franchise, Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown. Oh, I love Virtua yeah, Fighter Yeah, you play as one of 17 characters, and this version includes an overhauled fighting mechanic in offensive mode, as well as new sidestepping abilities to attack your enemy. Of course, Virtua Fighter was a classic series of arcade fighting games from Sega. Many critics consider Virtua Fighter 5 to be the deepest one of the bunch. Uh, it's available July 1st, so right now through the 15th on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Yeah, and finally there is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction, which is part of course of the famed Splinter Cell series. Now in this game you'll return as Sam Fisher, but you're on the run from the government, kind of a Jason Bourne-like scenario, while you investigate your daughter's murder. This one's definitely a stealth game. You can sneak up on enemies. And the game, it introduces some cool features like the mark and execute ability, where you can mark multiple targets and then just blast them all in quick succession. Oh, and you can prioritize targets too, so that's nice. This game also lets you interrogate characters in real time and even use environmental objects against them. So to sweeten the pot, there's even a separate co-op adventure to play with a friend. So there's a lot of content in this one. And well, also, if you were one of the people that was really hoping for a new Splinter Cell yeah. announcement, at E3 and you didn't get it, like me, right. at least some Splinter Cell. Yeah, it's available July 16th through 31st on Xbox One and Xbox 360. All right, so that's it for games with gold. Let's move on to PlayStation Plus from Sony. Now, before we get into the regular games, they are also offering a special treat to celebrate the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, you'll be able to download its predecessor, Black Ops 3, from now until July 11th. So, nice little bonus yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, totally. you If you haven't considered picking that up, it's free. It's free. All right, as for the rest of the games, these are all available during the month of July. Probably the biggest offering this month is Heavy Rain for the PlayStation 4. That's the psychological thriller from David Cage, who most recently came out with Detroit Become Human. Now, Heavy Rain, it released back in 2010. It features four main characters. They're all wrapped up in the mystery of the origami killer. Now, like all David Cage games, player choice is a huge part of this, and it ultimately affects how the game plays out. Also for PlayStation 4, uh, there's the fighting game Absolver. This is a martial arts game where you control a warrior and fight other players as well as computer opponents. It's also got an interesting battle mechanic where your fighting moves are done via a deck of cards and each card is assigned a move. And as you progress through the game, you earn more cards, weapons, and equipment. There's also a dynamic world with dedicated PvP and PvE areas, which is pretty dope. Absolver got kind of mixed reviews when it released last year, but it was nominated for some awards at the end of the year, so that's worth a try. Again, yeah. 
It's not going to be nominated. Yeah. As for PlayStation 3 games, they're still putting them out for PlayStation 3. Sony is offering up Rayman 3 HD, which is a 2012 remaster of the 2003 game Rayman 3 Hoodlums Havoc. It's the third game in the well-regarded platformer franchise. This one tells the story of how Rayman stops an evil black lum named Andre from taking over the world. This was the last one in the Rayman series to be in 3D. It's much more lighthearted than previous Rayman games. Now, the franchise, it's had somewhat of a comeback in recent years. There's and not just because of rabbits. No, no, but there's been a bunch of releases of Rayman Legends, which is awesome. So this is your chance to kind of dig a little deeper into the franchise's past. Now onto the PS Vita. For starters, they are offering the very great adventure game Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. Now this is the third entry in the Zero Escape series. It follows Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, and Virtue's Last Reward. Now this one is set in between the other two games. It follows the adventures of nine people, of course, who are kidnapped by a masked person known as Zero. He forces them to play a deadly game. Now this this game won a lot of praise at the time for its story and plot progression. Definitely worth checking out if you're a Vita owner. That's me. Yeah. Uh, finally, this month, this month there's Space Overlords. It's a god game where you can create planets and then, you know, of course, well, your god, destroy them. Yeah. Uh, you play as one of four brothers known as the Overlords who've been incarcerated by an evil baddie and now you've got to purge all the evil that's contaminated the planets that you've built. This action game didn't get honestly like really great reviews, but hey, it's free it's if you're free. looking for someone to play with your Vita. Yeah. All right, let's end things now with Twitch Whew, and take okay. a breath before, like, we've got to stretch. <sighs> all right. This. Because okay. they went all out this month. There are a lot of games to get to. Just a reminder, with Twitch Prime, you get a selection of PC games for a limited time, but once you download them, they're yours. You can keep them even if you cancel your Amazon Prime account. And unlike the other platforms where it's pretty straightforward, you go in, there's a menu, you go, ha ha, you get the games and then they're yours. This one works a little bit weird. Yeah. To actually download the games, you have to log into Twitch, then you click on the Prime Loot icon, it's up on the top right part of the screen, so it's kind of shaped like a crown, and it opens up a drop down menu, which you can then use to download the games to your PC. So a little bit different interface with this yeah. one. And to start off, they're offering three games for the entire month, or sort of a month long span, that is from July 3rd through August 2nd. So kicking that group off is Metal Slug 3. It's a single player game, basically a run and gun. You get to blow up everything from giant crabs, armored tanks, zombies, you know, whatever you like. It also that. adds new features from its predecessors like uh, new weapons, new vehicles. Yeah, next up they've got The Last Blade, which is an old Neo Geo classic. It's a 2D weapons-based fighting game, kind of a spiritual successor to the Samurai Showdown series. It takes place during the Bakumatsu era in Japan, and it incorporates a lot of Japanese mythology into the game. It's a lot of fun. And then also there's Twinkle Star Sprites, which is a top-down game that blends elements of an arcade shooter and puzzle game. This also released on Neo Geo back in the day, so definitely a fun blast from the past. Yeah, now again, those are all available from now until August 2nd. Now these ones coming up that we're talking about will only be available in specific release windows, sometimes just a couple of days. Yeah, and they're kind of all over the yeah. place, so we'll make sure we call out the exact dates. But worth keeping an eye yeah. on. So first up, Pillars of Eternity Definitive Edition. This is it's a really well-known, really well-received RPG. It was made by Obsidian Entertainment. It takes place in the world of Aora, where infants are being born without a soul. You've got to make things right. Got a ton of critical acclaim when it released a few years ago. It is available uh, from now until July 4th. So not long. You want to get this one. You want to get it yeah, now. This but one's great, great game. Definitely worth it. Next up is Cube 2, which is a sequel to the first-person puzzle game. You play as a character named Amelia Cross. She's stranded in an unfamiliar alien world, and of course, you gotta find your way home. It's available very short span, July 3rd through the 4th. So again, get that one by tomorrow. Gotta jump on it. Guys, look, celebrate the 4th of July somehow, right? Yeah. Uh, then there's the Battle Chef Brigade, which is a cooking game slash fantasy adventure. Uh, if you've always wanted to kill monsters and prepare dishes at the same time, and really, who doesn't? Uh, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. It landed on a lot of best of indie game lists last year. It's available July 4th through July 11th. So you do have some time on that one. 
Next up, we've got Manual Samuel, which is a very interesting concept for a game. It's a 2D side scroller where you've got to control all of the bodily functions of the game's hero, Sam. Ew. Yeah, uh, he's been killed, he goes down to hell, he kind of makes a deal with the devil to get out. But if you can survive for 24 hours in the pits of hell, you win. So it's available July 5th through the 12th. Uh, also coming up, Twitch Prime is Goner. It's a procedurally generated 2D roguelike platformer. Really cool. Yeah. I like this one a lot. You play as an, a really kind of a cute character. He's trying to cheer up their whale friend, but don't let the cute graphics fool you. It is adorable, but it's also hard as Brutal. hell. And it's available July 6th through July 13th. Okay, continuing on, we've got another really tough game. This is the Dungeon Crawler Next Up Hero. And as the hero, you've got to fight all manner of terrible monsters. When you die, though, you can resurrect your old spirit to fight alongside you. Aww. Super handy. Yeah, it's available July 7th through July 14th. Then we got the puzzle game Ernong Unlimited. No, I can't say it. Ernong Unlimited. Unlimited. Yeah, it's whims a really whimsical looking 2D platformer where you explore a world and steal all the animals you can because why wouldn't you? Yeah. You can play it single player or you can play it co-op. It's available July 8th through July 14th. All right, moving right along. We've got we're, getting, a ton we're doing more. well. Yeah. We're, I think we're, we're getting this. I think we're going to make it. We've got Hue, which is a colorful puzzle game, as the title would uh, connotate. It lets you change the world in a very unique way by changing the background color. So your goal is to find your missing mom. You'll travel very beautiful landscapes and gather various colored fragments to do so. It's available July 9th through the 15th. Next up, Deponia Doomsday. It's a point and click adventure game. If you like, if you've played any of the Deponia games, absolutely worth picking up. If not, it's kind of like fun and like steampunky, and the character is like, you, you just want to lecture him sometimes, <laughs> and yet still you kind of like him. Uh, the main character is Rufus. He's back after the game's initial trilogy concluded. Expect a lot of fourth wall breaking, lots of jokes in this game. It's available July 10th through July 16th. I love myself with the point and click. Yeah, oh yeah, they've got a couple more too. Also available later this month is the game Observer, which is a cyberpunk style horror game from the creators of Layers of Fear. Now this game follows a detective who is known as an observer. He can hack into people's minds and also use augmented vision to investigate his surroundings. This game's available July 11th through the 17th. And then while we're talking about some kind of futuristic mm -hmm. stuff, Tacoma, which is a fun game that I had uh, really enjoyed last year. It's a sci-fi narrative game set in the year 2088 on board a space station. It's from the developers, uh, the Fulbright Company. They also made the uh, excellent Gone Home, if you like that kind of game. It's the sort of game where you're in a place, you are alone, very much like Gone Home. You're okay. trying to figure out like what's happened, uh, but it's... I really liked it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you like that kind of game, you can download it from July 12th to July 18th. Next up, if you're an MC Escher fan, this game is for you. This is a very unique puzzle game. It's called The Bridge, it's 2D, and again, inspired by the works of MC Escher. You can actually rotate the world and use gravity to solve various puzzles. All very cool, they're hand drawn. It's got that grayscale, you know, like an MC Escher painting. Uh, or drawing rather. It's available July 13th through the 26th. Then we've got Brutal Legend, wow. one a classic. Mm. Well, I mean, depending on what you consider a classic, <laughs> but it's a heavy metal action game. It's got some real-time strategy elements. It's kind of weird. It starts as one and then sort of switches into the other, and you play as a roadie voiced by none other than Jack Black, who must battle hordes of demons to save humanity. Uh, it's also got lots of cameos from metal legends, Ozzy Osbourne, Rob Halford. It's a really, really fun game from the Double Fine folks. It's available July 14th through July 27th. I felt like that game just did not get enough love when yeah, it came out. Yeah, it, it, it was a lot of It confused a lot of people because it, it did change from like a, a, an action game into a kind of a strategy game and people went, what the hell? Yeah. So know that going in. Yeah, all right, we're still chugging along. Whew. Twitch Prime is also offering the cyberpunk adventure game, the Red Strings Club. This is now two cyberpunk adventure games. In this one, you're on a mission along with a hacker buddy and a rogue android. Your job is to keep an evil corporation from brainwashing the world. Uh, really cool goal. story. Yeah, absolutely. Who wouldn't want to do that? This one's available July 15th through the 21st. Next up, we've got Tyranny. It's an RPG from Obsidian Entertainment, the same people who put out Pillars of Eternity. You play as a fate finder who travels the world to help restore order after an evil overlord, Kairos, has already destroyed it. So you start after the bad guy wins. <laughs> uh, the game is available for a very, very short period, so make sure you keep an eye on this one if you want it. It's July 16th through July 18th. All right, I told you we'd have another point 
and click adventure, here it is. This one's called Broken Age. Uh, really cool concept. You control two separate teenagers in different worlds. They don't really interact, so you're constantly switching between them while the story unfolds. Another great one from Double Fine Production, which also made Psychonauts and Brutal Legend, like hey. we just talked about. It's available July 17th through the 31st. Really charming art style in that yeah, one, too. big time. Next up, Framed Collection, which is an animated comic book kind of game where you rearrange the panels in different ways to change how the story shakes out. Really cool concept. Uh, and and it lets you use your imagination to figure out how to solve all these different puzzles. That one is available July 18th through July 31st, so you will have a wider window on that one, a little bit less stress. And finally, Ooh. we made it. Finally, Twitch is offering the mob game Serial Cleaner. You play as a cleaner, literally, for the mob. It's your job to make sure that there's nothing left of crime scenes for the cops to find as evidence, kind of like the wolf character from Pulp Fiction. This one's set in the 70s, very heavy on gore, not for kids, but hey, if that's your thing, check it out. It's available July 18th through the 31st. All right, that is a lot of games, but that wraps up what's gonna be available on those services for free this month. Which game is interesting to you? Let us know in the comments, because there are, in my opinion, a lot of worthy contenders. Definitely. Like, that's a lot of great games yep. to be getting for free if you're already paying these subscriptions. Absolutely. And for all your gaming news, of course, be sure to like this video. If you're new around here, subscribe to The Now. All right, audio sync. That's a good one. That was good. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> we did it. Hold well on. Whew. So many games. No. And so many of them are so good. Yeah, there's some there's some gems in there.